Hey everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video I'm going to be looking at the best plugins available for OxoPrint. One of the best things about OxoPrint is the ability to customise the experience. This video I'm going to be looking through the best plugins available. To add plugins, go to the settings, plugin manager and click get more at the bottom. From here, you'll be able to search for all the plugins I'm linking to in today's video. The first plugin I'd like to talk about is the Detail Progress plugin. This pushes the print progress details from Octoprint onto the LCD display of your 3D printer, meaning just a quick glance at the screen will give you the information rather than having to log onto Octoprint to do so. It's a nice and simple plugin, but it makes a massive difference. The next plugin is the Print Time Genius plugin. And this does a much better job at estimating how long your print's going to take than the standard Octoprint estimations. They claim that it can be as accurate as 0.2% of the actual print time. And whilst I'm not sure it's necessarily that accurate, it is definitely a lot more accurate than the standard Octoprint estimations. Definitely worth a plug-in install. Okay, the next one we're looking at is the Webcam Sidebar or Webcam SB plugin. It's another super simple plugin that gives you the ability to see your webcam right from the main page and the sidebar, which if you click will give you a full screen display and makes much more sense than having to clip to a different tab every time you want to see your webcam. Next is the Better Heated Timeout plugin. This is a safety feature which monitors the temperature of your hot end and your bed. If it stays at the same temperature without any other commands for too long, it will automatically switch them off, helping prevent them overheating and potentially causing a fire risk. You can set how long the timeout is for and at what point it triggers. You can also add some custom G-code to run after the heating elements are turned off. Next up is the TP-Link Smart Plug plugin. If like me, you're using a TP-Link Smart Plug to run your printer, being able to turn it on and off remotely for convenience and safety, this feature is great, giving you the ability to control that smart plug from inside the Octoprint user interface. If you'd like to find out more about the advantages of using a smart plug to run your printer, check out my other YouTube video, Turning Your 3D Printer On and Off From Anywhere. Next up is Oxolapse, and this is a big one. I'll be doing some videos specifically on this plugin, but for now, what this plugin allows you to do is have full control of time lapses on your printer, actually moving the head to a specific point for the time lapse photos. If you've got a printer like a Prusa or an Ender, where the bed moves on the X or the Y axis, it's impossible to do a smooth time lapse without Oxolapse. Because the print is in a different place every time it takes a picture, it's constantly jumping all over the place. With Oxolapse, however, the image will always be taken with the bed in the same position, coming out with a nice smooth time lapse. You can even decide where the print head's going to be for each image, whether it looks like it's orbiting around the print, moving backwards and forwards, or remaining static, like in the T-Rex example. The next plugin we're looking at is Printoid for Octoprint. This plugin is more of an assistant for an Android app called Printoid. The plugin allows you to get push notifications on the progress of your print, even if you're outside of your home network without having to expose your Raspberry Pi to the risks of hacking. The app also features a number of widgets which allow you to get live progress feeds, webcam images, and links directly through to each printer on your home pages. Inside the app itself, you've got full control over everything you can do on the main web browser, and even more, including full 3D G code browsing. The final plugin to consider is the Spaghetti Detective. Certainly not one to be underestimated. This streams the footage from your webcam to their server, where artificial intelligence monitors it for print issues. If it sees that there's an issue with your print, it will automatically pause it, sending you a notification via text or email with a photo of what's currently going on, asking if you'd like to continue or cancel the print. This can save you a lot of filament or from damaging your printer by continuing to print when something's already gone wrong. The Spaghetti Detective is free to use up to a certain amount of hours a month, but if you'd like to use it more, they've got a premium subscription service that you can use. I'll make sure to pop a link to this and everything else I've talked about in the description below. Well, I hope you found those suggestions useful. If you like this video, please hit subscribe below and I'll see you guys next time.